live on location. I'm Pastor Darrell Mason, pastor of Spirit of Christ Ministries, and we just want to welcome you to our program. We thank you for tuning in. Um, today, we basically we're talking about moving forward. It's actually been a theme and a series that we've been working on these last couple of weeks. Um, but I'll start with Sister Mason. She was talking about uh, regaining your footing and repositioning yourself, and then we followed up with moving forward. And today, we started again with moving forward, but this time, of uh, the reckoning of moving forward. Uh, the reckoning, when we talk about the reckoning, we talk about uh, the mindset of moving forward, changing your mind to realize, I do need to move forward. So some of the things that we were saying today uh, that God had given us was, basically in order to move forward, sometimes you have to leave things behind. And you have to leave those old things behind, those old mentalities, those old feelings, all those old things. Because sometimes when you carry the old things into your now or into your future, you contaminate the things that are in your now or your future. And sometimes you think you're moving forward when in actual, you're really still in the same place because you're living in the past. So we talked about just you know moving forward and leaving those things behind us. Because God is calling us to a greater place. We talked about the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul. Uh, begin to tell us that he said I'm I'm moving forward I am not looking at the things that are behind me I'm looking to the things which are before me I'm pressing on to the mark of the prize of the high call of God in Christ Jesus and he had Christ as his center as his focus he said all the things that I have gained I count them as lost they're they're pretty much nothing to me he was sold out for God and that's what we have to do in moving forward we got to put God as our focal point Christ as our focal point so whatever God is calling you to move into whatever God is bringing you into this new season. You know, move forward with God as your focus and trust in Christ because that's the only way that you're going to get it done. Because sometimes we have situations where they're hard to move forward. Sometimes the situations we don't want to let go. But we have to begin to lay a hold on Christ. Paul said, I'm forgetting those things which are behind me and I'm reaching forth not to those things which are behind me but to Christ Jesus that I may win him and I may obtain him. And people, we've got to begin to look at it like that. Something may be hard to move, something may be hard to lead, hold and trust in Christ. Let God comfort you and strengthen you in all those things. It could be old mindsets, it could be unforgiveness that you're walking in, either for yourself or for somebody else. God said that if you don't forgive, He can't forgive you. And even if you have a grudge against yourself, He still can't forgive you. So people of God, it's very important for us to move forward. He said, okay, Pastor Mason, why are you talking about moving forward? It's not January 1st yet. It's not December 31st. It doesn't have to be because guess what? We can wait to December 31st to talk about moving forward, and we can still not move forward. So it's very important, very imperative, and we don't wait for a date to come because guess what? Dates come and go all the time. What has to change is us, our position, our posture, our faith, our belief in God. Uh, because faith actually has to accompany you moving forward because it's the fuel for you moving forward because you're believing God. Some of us are believing God for things that we don't even understand or even know. We're going into the unknown. It takes faith. Some of us are taking some things that God has promised us in place before us. It still takes faith because you have to believe that God's going to get you to your appointed end. So people of God, I just really want to encourage your heart today. Move forward. Don't move back. Don't bring things from your past up into your future or to your now because it's only going to contaminate that. The illustration we used was if you have old moldy furniture, will you take your old moldy furniture into a new house? Probably not. In most instances you won't because guess what it will do? It will contaminate the other things that are in that new house and that's what our past represents. That's what the past that we've had which was a bad thing represents, you know, our old lifestyle, our old people that we hung out with, the old things we used to do, the old ways we used to think. It represents that old moldy couch that you would bring into your new house. So cut that old moldy couch off. Step into what God is calling to. Because God is calling us all to something great. God is doing a great thing in these last days, people of God. Let us lay hold of it and focus on God so that we can move forward. You might be hurt, you might have been going for something that was really detrimental to you, that something that scarred you for a long time. Christ can heal you. Christ can heal you. One word from God can change your whole situation. So people of God, we want you to be encouraged. Have a blessed day in the name of the Lord Jesus. We love you. 